The third and final week of the preseason is here. A fourth exhibition game is a thing of the past. It's the Ravens and the Packers, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. It's the only fan-owned franchise here in the NFL. And tens of thousands of those fans have their cheese heads on and have filled the stands of historic Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm Kate Scott, joined by Brock Hewitt up here in the booth. And here we are, Brock, final week of the preseason. One last tune-up for stars and starters. And, of course, the game where a lot of these great camp stories will clinch a spot on that week one roster. And I never tire of these great camp stories. And they come yep. from all different backgrounds. Some are undrafted guys, some are vets with a restart on their career. But they uh -huh. use the preseason, this game in particular, to springboard some momentum into the regular season. Here to begin this one is Greg Joseph. And away we go from Wisconsin. And this will be a touchback, so we're going to need our first snap to see the first action of this game. So the Ravens offense taking over for the first time here. And they're brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game. It's Lamar Jackson. A decade plus before Lamar, it was a guy named Michael Vick who was the standard for dual threat quarterbacks. Well, today, that standard is Lamar Jackson, who at his best is an MVP caliber player, and the most exciting player, not just in his position, but in all of football. And don't let that running overshadow the strides he's made as a passer to in the pocket and as a franchise quarterback to build upon. All right, Brock, getting a look now at their draft class from this year and some haters on the outside for this class, but I know inside the building, they're real excited about this group. You know, one thing, Kate, I've learned, uh, meeting scouts out on the road, especially on the college level, I'll talk to them, they'll say, different organizations, like, yep, this guy's a Raven. Yep, this guy's mm -hmm. a Seahawk. Yep, this mm -hmm. guy just fits who we are. The elite programs, they don't care about the noise on the outside. When they see a fit to their team and their organization, they go get them. And that's what I see in this draft class. Jackson now on third. Buying some time right. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. Well, I think he was looking for that running lane and that running room from the very start right there, partner. Even as he worked through his progression initially, he was waiting for space to open and then he takes advantage with his legs. From the gun, a run for Henry. And he gets it past the 50 and down to the Packers' side of the field. He made it six on the play, bringing up second and four. It's coming, Lamar. Has him on the quick hitter. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. Pistol snap to Jackson. Bails out of the pocket. And this time they're going to get there and they drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. All right, first sack on the board and the first drive as a defense. And now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks. And sacks in this league often leads to wins. Another try following the sack. Gets this one to Andrews. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets them up with first and goal. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom, connect on a big shot, and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. They'll run here with Henry, and the defense is all over this one for a big loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, that came at the perfect time. And this one doesn't work any better. Defense there to drop him at the line again. 
Buckle up. It's third and goal. Shotgun snap to Jackson. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. Good pressure from the defense there. Has them trending in the wrong direction. Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be just one heck of a deflating feeling Not for that defense who puts a sack on the board. Staring at fourth down, the Ravens will go with Justin Tucker to try for three. This from 35 yards away. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Returning it from the four. He's stopped on the return at the 27. So now it's the Packers getting out on offense for their opening drive. Bringing them out, someone who wowed last year in his first chance as a starter, Jordan Love. It took Jordan Love a little while for him to get his chance to start in the NFL. He had to watch Aaron Rodgers for a number of years, but guess what? Aaron had to watch Brett, and it paid huge dividends. And it sure looks like Jordan Love, to start his career, is doing the same. He didn't just watch Aaron Rodgers. He worked on his game. He developed his game over three years. And when he got his chance, he sure looked like a young star at the position. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Pass was thrown for Christian Watson. And now it's second down. Here's Josh Jacobs getting his first look on the ground. And he found some running room for a nice game. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. Turning to Jacobs on third. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Only a solitary field goal so far as we're through one quarter. Just a field goal separates these two. We'll return to historic Lambeau Field after this. Time for our second quarter. It'll be Packer football to begin. Let's go. They'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and ten. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Yeah, you want to get above five yards to carry? You put together runs like that. And I'll tell you what else a run like that does, Kate. That sets up the play action. Right? When you really just gouge and gash a defense like that, the next time you run that action, they're going to be thinking running the ball to go right over their head. Going to the ground again on first. And he takes it up and across midfield into Ravens territory. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. He's got Watson. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. They have themselves another first and ten. Jacobs gets it on the draw. He'll drive it forward, but won't get beyond the line. Justin Matabike making that stop. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. When you rush the passer, it's kind of like tracking down a runner. That same pass, same athleticism comes to life. He looked pretty good hunting his prey right there. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Ready, ready. 
Ready? Shotgun now for Love. That's reeled in by Jaden Reed. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. Third and just two to go. Running right, here's Jacobs. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. That goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. You love a huddle? Okay, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there that he's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. And that one's incomplete, but boy, are they lucky it wasn't intercepted. That was a risky shot, but fortunately, they still have second down coming up. Oh, that was such an opportunity lost. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series. And instead, well, he just couldn't quite hang on. And he gets taken down immediately right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast. And he's got a touchdown, Green Bay! The Packers finish off their opening drive. It's a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he could go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, ooh, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Point after try is good by Joseph. And the Packers one up the opposing field goal. They start with seven on their opening drive. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Here's Charlie Jones with the return. And this drive will start inside the 25. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1. And make your case for who should get a boost. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Lamar now from the gun. Andrews with the catch. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Now Jackson on third down. Pocket isn't moving up. They're able to drop him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. I know quarterbacks get paid a lot of money and a lot of glamour in this league, but today, well, this is a tough day for this QB. He's taking a beating. And whether it means changing up some of the blocking schemes, maybe mixing in a little bit of run, or heck, this quarterback getting the ball out of his hand more quickly, he's got to start protecting himself. The Ravens going to pump this away, and here's Jordan Stout to handle that boot. Collects this at the 35. And he's brought down before the return gets far. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And the Packers will take over possession. First and 10 from the 41. Here we go, set. Ready? Love from the gun. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. That's knocked away by a defender, incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game, 
And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Any DB prefers a highlight reel interception to just forcing an incomplete pass. But as soon as he realized a pick wasn't possible on the play, well, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed. He's got it inside the 25. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. It's cut right side by Watson. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Now, just before the break, a timeout taken by the offense. And they can try for some points going into the break. It's no good. An unexpected miss there, Brock, as he puts it left. That's halftime here in Green Bay. The Cheeseheads with plenty to cheer about as their Packers had the lead. Now we'll get you down to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. This, the final game on the preseason schedule for these two teams. After this comes final cutdowns, and then we get started for real. The countdown is on for the NFL kickoff game on the Thursday after Labor Day. In our game, this is the final dress rehearsal. Still a chance for someone to make a big play that cements his spot on the roster. And to bring it your way, let's get it right back out to Kate Scott. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half ahead. It's time to get back at it. For the call, let's rejoin Kate Scott and Brock Hewart. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. With two quarters left, Brock, for starters and backups alike to get tuned up before week one. The second half of our preseason finale is underway. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Here's the Packer offense headed out to start the third quarter. And it has been all about these defenses so far, Brock. Even into the second half, we're still waiting for one of these offenses to take charge. Yeah, what you're feeling, these defenses are making every yard tough, every first down tough, every series tough. And offensively, yeah, it's time to toughen up and maybe more importantly, sharpen up. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. And he's brought down for a loss. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. And partner, did, did you hear a whistle? I, I didn't, but he must have thought that he heard one because he just spiked the football. This drive in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. Ready, ready. Set. Love now. Got to him right as he threw it, and it falls to the ground. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. So fourth down, here comes Daniel Whelan to send it flying for the Packers. And we'll see how his debut offering goes. And this one is kicked up towards the clouds. Fair catch is made a yard or two short of midfield. No return on that punt. And the Ravens will go on offense. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Third quarter starts with a run from Henry. Doesn't get much beyond the line, a yard at most. Brought down by Quay Walker. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Running once more with Henry. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Give him four on that run. That's going to bring up third and five. put one of the tight ends in motion back now pressure on its way flushed out of the pocket he's running for it and not 
much doing. He stopped quickly. Tick, 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 tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he'd listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. The Ravens getting ready for the punt. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. About 44 yards on his first kick, Brock, and this one looks to be longer. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. The Packers and Josh Jacobs about set to go on offense. They didn't add to their lead last time out. They punted it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Set, ready. Ready. Jacobs gets it to start the drive. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Giving that tackle to Kyle Van Noy. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. They stick with Jacobs. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost. And he busts those tackles. Moose laid it down to approach here from the 40. Come on, set. First down, and they go right back to him. They'll cobble together a yard there, giving that tackle to Kyle Van Noy. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door. Bigger gap in the future. He's got a gain of six there. Chopping that play, Trenton Simpson. It's a gain of six, and they only need half of that now on third and three. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you can be a pro bowler. Here we go, set. Hunt, hunt. Love on third and short. Complete beyond the marker. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on a defense. Running on first here with Jacobs. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. I had the first down by a comfortable margin right there. Remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Ready, set. Going run again with Jacobs. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, the defense is really buckled down. That was a scoreless third quarter for us. The Packers with it. They have the lead late, but this game is close. Offense to the line for second down. First throw for the backup now. He's going deep this time. Had the window to go deep, but just couldn't make it happen. Now it's third down. Took his shot at six that time. So they're left facing third and long. I like that, Kate. That's going to keep a defense honest. That proves that they're not afraid to take a shot on any given snap. And with enough looks, eventually, one's going to hit. And this one stopped at the three-yard line. 
They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage. Sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. All set up for an insurance score here. It's first and goal. Running up the middle, Dylan. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. They're three yards closer to the end zone. Here comes second and goal. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Trying it again with Dylan. And he runs it across. Touchdown! The Packers now lead by 10. A.J. Dillon, the touchdown! Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. Joseph now for the extra point. And that one is no good. Didn't even come very close to sneaking that one in. So leave that score as is. So following the missed point after, a chance to take his frustrations out on that football as he sends this away. He's going to return it from a yard or two deep. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. Baltimore running its offense out now. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. You know, Kay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. turnover it's gonna stay with the offense well I think you know the only thing redeeming about that play Kate they got the ball back yeah well done yeah they got the ball back but a whole <laughs> lot longer down a distance let's see what they dial up on a second and very long Here's a give up the middle. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Only one yard on the run. They're going to need to pull a rabbit out of the hat rock on this third and very long. Throwing from near his own goal line. And he can't escape. The Packers drop in. Working quickly here. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. They get him again, and this time, it's for points. That is going to be a safety. That's a defense that could just sense it. Blood in the water after that last sack. They bring the pressure again, thinking sack all the way, and that's exactly what they get. The safety, well, that's just a little icing on the cake. hurts to do this they give up the safety and now have to kick it away escapes a defender and he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down well following that play we have somebody shaken up and man with so many guys fighting for roster spots you never want to see someone get hurt hopefully they can fix him up quick here's first and ten from the 34 begin the drive with Dylan and he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39 yard line give him five on that carry bring it up second and five 
You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. He'll go from the gun with Lloyd. Crosses midfield, still going. And he takes this into enemy territory to the 48-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. You know, Coach gets in that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession. Or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And he gets a gain of nine, and that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. Going right back to Dylan. And he's able to get this down to the 36. Well, following that play, we have somebody shaking up. And man, with so many guys fighting for roster spots, you never want to see someone get hurt. Hopefully they can fix him up quick. First down, ball at the 36. They'll go again with Dylan. And he'll be stopped after getting this down to the 31. With 1.54 remaining, the defense burns a timeout. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Wow, they're gonna pass it here. Throwing this back in the end zone. And this is gonna be a Green Bay touchdown. The Packers making a three-score game in the fourth. That one not easy, Brock. Threading the needle there. Boy, there was a lot of traffic in the end zone, but he still found his man. Yeah, you don't really recommend challenging double coverage in the end zone in this <laughs> no. league, but when you give your receiver a chance in that spot, that's what they love. And sometimes you just have to trust that your guys are better than the ones surrounding him, and he'll go make that play anyway. Joseph there to tack on the extra point. And the Packers go up by 19. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. So new kickoff rules, this is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. Now the Ravens all set for another possession. And this a final opportunity to make things a little closer in that final score. Walker going to motion over right. They go play action on first. Catch made by Keaton Mitchell. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. hurrying to the line with the clock running. Third and long for him here. Trying to push it deep downfield. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. Could not beat the defender there. So that brings up fourth and long. Read and react. Read and react. Read and react. Got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going. And you got to react as he begins to throw to get to a spot and knock it away. And on fourth down, that one won't work. It's incomplete. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. Hey, I get it. It's already over. But go down swinging. Unfortunately, that play, like so many of them today, Kate, has been pretty indicative of how this contest has gone.
Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Oh, look at this. He's setting up to throw. Launches one deep downfield. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. Now throw doesn't lead to six. And that'll bring up second down. Well, the QB right there, he put it pretty close to the sidelines to begin with. And the defender, well, that was a nice job. Just simply put a hand out there and let me just encourage the ball to fall incomplete. It's still in here on second down. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Ooh, I like that ball. I really, I really like it with those sticks. You can keep them on the sidelines and you get more than enough to get the first down. Offense set for a first and ten. They'll give this up the middle to Dylan. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. So this is a Packers win. And this victory is going to give them a nice shot of confidence as they work through the next couple of weeks and prepare for things to count coming up in week one. And with Brock Heward and our EA Sports crew, I'm Kate Scott saying so long from this one. The Packers are your winners as we say so long from Green Bay.